Hey guys, this is a 2009 Chrysler 300 with the 2.7. Uh, what we're doing is we're changing out the the whole entire upper outlet that goes through there. What I did was. I don't know no other way. I didn't see no other way. I was thinking about removing this whole piece right here. But that looked that looked like that was a whole lot more work there. So what I did was I removed the radiator. I removed the radiator. Removed the front grill. You guys can see. I removed the front grill. The reason why I moved this here, the upper plenum and all, is I thought that this thing was going to be able to come right up through there but as you can tell that uh, it couldn't be removed so while I'm at it I'm just replace the, the seals and all while, while I'm at it uh, removing this thing there is a bolt back here there is a bolt back there that you have to remove so once you remove that bolt and, and, and the uh, hose this thing will slide right on out I left the condenser in what you can see right here I left the condenser and that's the condenser uh, so I just took it and just moved this back a little bit and let's see here maneuver uh, trying to kind of hard to do it one hand all right here we go here we go maneuver this here I'm just gonna push it on back in just to show you what I did here as you know that goes like that okay so like I said again I just pulled it on out came on through with it just maneuver it just keep on maneuvering it just keep on maneuvering it and it'll slide right on out of there that's it the guy that had it he took and put some type of epoxy on here to stop it from leaking but the pull you know the, the outlet was it was worn it was damaged so anyway here's the new one what of course the ah sure I can't think what it's called right now well anyway the whole assembly came from from the uh, Chrysler dealer Chrysler or Dodge and you just vice versa. Oh yeah, and this one little piece right here. This little piece here. This this came off the old one. I already had put it on the new one already. That's where the that bolt goes on in the rear. Once you slide it on through. Uh, matter of fact, look like I'm gonna have to take this back off. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to take that back off of there. Let's see here. to do it with one hand uh, all right there we go so there's a little piece right there and there's a boat that goes in the back of it so we're gonna sit that there and we're gonna slide this bad boy back on through there you know what matter of fact I think I'm gonna uh, yeah I think I better blow some of that out of there before I eh, ain't really nothing but I still just like to clean it all through there you know it probably ain't gonna matter but I still like to clean it up so uh which I'm not talking about the top part of here of course you're gonna clean all that up but I'm talking about through here I'm just gonna blow all through there I try to get as much dirt debris or whatever it is in there try to get much of that out of there but anyway guys uh like i say uh, of course um just been a job well it's not that bad really it's not that bad once you figure out how to take the screws out the uh you know for the fan the radiator um um 
can't think what else here but uh anyhow all right till next time y'all